Welcome back, everyone. And what a magical season Georgia football fans enjoyed in 1980. Coach Vince Dooley led the Georgia team to the national title. And I know we've heard all the stories, or have we? Tonight we're joined by Lenny Daniel, director of the film 1980 Dogs, and Scott Warner, who was one of the 1980 Dogs. Gentlemen, welcome. And talk about this, this production, how it got started, and the idea that we're finding out new things through this about a story we all thought we knew all so well. Well, I was a student at Georgia during uh, 78 to 81. I used to write with the Red and Black in the sports department. And uh, I guess about three years ago or so, I kind of started thinking, I was reading Coach Dooley's book and I thought, boy, that brings back a lot of memories from 1980. So I just tried to search for a video or a film, a documentary of the year, and I couldn't find anything. So as I searched, I couldn't find anything. And I have a production company here in Atlanta, Phoenix Video Productions. and. I decided to try to investigate taking the project on and telling the story of 1980 because so much happened that year just on and off the field that I just wanted to you know, interview as many players and coaches as I could and just have that story told from the year and move forward and then uh, uh, became partners with Mike Moss, a former graduate, and he helped me uh, market this and get it out to the public. You so. give you a chance to reconnect with a lot of Georgia fans and members of that team. We have one with you here and, and Scott wanted that you think you know, in 2011, people were looking to take a fresh look at the story of you and your teammates. Well, when you see all the guys on the on the tape, uh, uh, looking as old as uh, old as I am now, 32 years since uh, since the '80 team uh, stepped on the field, and and uh, the guys remember a lot better than I do uh, what took place during the year, and and uh, it is. Uh, it is refreshing to, to sit and watch the video and, and listen to those guys' perceptions of all the different games that took place during that year. You did an interview for this. How long ago did you do your interview? And then at that time, did you envision it turning out the way it has? Then he called me one day uh, at home and, and uh, comes up to North Georgia, and we do the taping in, the, in his basement. And uh, yeah, it was it was great, and and just uh, talk freely about uh, the the '80 season, and and uh, that was two years ago, and and I, I'd kind of forgotten about the video uh, uh, that had taken place. We all we all had our it was it was right about the time we had our 30 year reunion, mm -hmm. and so we all talked about it, and we and we, we all got a little bit of here and there, but nothing like what what's put together on on this video. It is uh, it is truly. Uh, I, I've talked to some people that have seen it. They sat down and watched the whole thing, three and a half hours worth of video. And how long did it take you as far as time to start to finish to, to get this all this production done? It took about a year to about a year and a half to do everything because uh, I didn't have much of a budget to do it. I was just doing it on the side. Um, and so I would do it part time at home, uh, a lot of late evenings. So it took about a year to a year and a half to actually start from, I shot 27 different interviews with coaches and players and then went into the editing room and started editing at the same time, trying to get it finished for the 30-year reunion, which uh, we, we got a rough cut of it done for the 30 years. So it took a while. It was uh, a lot of patience from my wife and daughter for a lot of late nights editing and so yeah. forth. So it was, it was involved. Great production. It's called 1980 Dogs, and it's available. Let's let people know how, how, how they can get a copy of it because it's a great, great stocking stuffer for the Georgia fan on your list, by the way. You can go to the website, which is 1980dogs.com, and that's D-A-W-G-S.com. Uh, and if you want it by Christmas, uh, on our website, there's some uh, list of stores where it's available now where you can just go and pick it up. Uh, so it would be a perfect gift for Bulldog fans everywhere. Or just a college football fan. People yes. just follow football around the South. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming by thank and sharing you. this great thank story. You. A Appreciate fresh it. look at the 1980 Dogs here. Go out and get it in time for the holidays.
they have done something that no Georgia team has ever done. Uh, they are without a doubt the undisputed national champions. That national championship season has a life of its own. Something, something was going on up there and it, and it was beyond all of us and we were all a part of it. You know, it was really cool, it was fun. And you realize as each year goes by how special that year really was. The only thing I could imagine that would make men closer than what we went through is being in battle. There's such a special bond of being a part of something like that. You know, we went through the best of the best of the best and the worst of the worst uh, and, and came out our last year with, uh, with a national championship. You know, looking back on Georgia football now, you know, 1980 is a pretty damn big year. Third down on the eight, in trouble, got a block behind him. Just the miracle that transpired over that, that period of time. The courage that we had to play and not give up was the thing that stands out the most to me. Just being a, being a part of that team and a, and a part of those people is, is, is such an honor. You can relive that championship as long as you live. And you just realize what a special moment that is. And not everybody gets a chance and to be a part of something like that. Unbelievable. Uh, it's very difficult to describe the feeling, but uh, all of a sudden you realize that in the game of college football, uh, you are the best. I don't even know how to put that into words. That was something else. A feeling you'll never forget.